Today also marks the start of an experiment, Gail, for at least three states in partially reopening as the national death toll climbs to about 50,000 people. They include Alaska, Oklahoma, and Georgia. Mark Strassman is in Atlanta. Mark, are folks there comfortable with this? Well, we're going to find out today, uh, Anthony. To, we'll see who shows up to these businesses that are going to reopen. And salons are among the businesses allowed to reopen, and this one behind me is going to go for it. It's a controversial decision by Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, and even his fellow Republicans, including President Trump, have lit into him for it. I think locals needed to have more input, and it's made people nervous. Georgia Republican Congressman Doug Collins is questioning his Republican governor, Brian Kemp, for his decision to open parts of the state's economy this morning. It is a scary time to be opening back up. Jason Griggers owns Escape Hair Salon just outside of Atlanta. He's reopening his doors today, but with reservations. The biggest concern is that somebody's going to come in here symptomatic, have the virus, and, uh, and it's going to pass to one of us or to one of our clients. President Trump again criticized Georgia's governor for his decision to reopen the state's economy. I'm not happy about it, and I'm not happy about Brian Kemp. Even states that have yet to lift restrictions are seeing more people out in public. In Orange County, California, about 9,000 people crowded Huntington Beach on Thursday. I worry a little bit about social distancing because clearly it's not happening. And in New York, as new hospitalization rates slowly drop, the political battle over a federal bailout for states hit hard by the outbreak is heating up. How ugly a thought. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo hit back at Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell. The majority leader suggested states could declare bankruptcy rather than getting more federal dollars, referring to that option as blue state bailouts. Just think of what he's saying. People die. 15,000 people died in New York, but they were predominantly Democrats. So why should we help them? The latest stimulus bill passed by Congress does not include money for state funding. The Midwest Center for Investigative Reporting says about 3,400 reported positive COVID cases are tied to the meatpacking industry across 23 states, including Nebraska. Governor Pete Ricketts. So I don't foresee a scenario where I would tell them to close. At my workplace, people are working shoulder to shoulder. Achu Dang, a single mother of three, works at the Smithfield Pork Plant in South Dakota. It closed after more than 800 people tested positive for the coronavirus. She was one of them. It's very hard when you are at home sick and try to take care of the little one, try to keep distancing at the same time. Many businesses, uh, business owners reopening today are skittish about it. A different salon than this one is making customers sign this waiver. It's essentially a promise that if you come down with COVID-19, you won't sue. Tony? Yeah, it's scary to reopen, but also scary economically to stay closed. Mark, uh, thank you very much.